heck is Twilight? <laughs> So I know I am very late to the whole Twilight thing, and this is the first time I have ever seen Twilight. I had a friend visiting, and I told her that I had never seen Twilight, and she was like, we're watching Twilight. So, here we are. I'm sorry, Jaden, if you're watching this, I know you like Twilight. Look, it's not all that bad. <laughs> so, for those of you who haven't seen Twilight, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail of the plot. This video does not have a script. This is just me ranting in my room. So if you like that, stick around. If you don't, sorry, this is just what this video is. But brief summary of Twilight, if you don't have any clue, Twilight is about vampires and werewolves and this one girl who's weird. Really, really weird. So I watched all five movies and before you're like, oh, you didn't read the books? Look, I didn't know anything about Twilight before I started this. And I love books, but I was not about to sit down and read the books before the movies. If there's a movie option, most likely I will choose the movie option first. Because the one time I didn't, I was very disappointed, so... I'm sorry. Also, no shade to the actors or the writer when discussing this video. This is just my personal opinions. So, this is just my opinions. It's not... So, Twilight. Um, what an interesting thing. First off, let's talk about the characters. Editing Maddie here. Um, I forgot to mention this, but this video contains a whole ton of spoilers. So if you want to watch the show, just go watch it. It's a good time and come back and watch this video and hear me complain about it and also say some good things about it. You know, that's it. <laughs> Look, I'm not a big fan of romance movies in general. They're just not my thing. I like it when the romance is like, a part of the story but it's not the main plot of the story like for example I don't like like I probably wouldn't like Titanic I haven't seen it I'm probably sure it's a great movie but I probably wouldn't like it because it's a love story no offense I'm not judging it too hardly I thought I wouldn't like Twilight but I still watched it and I didn't like it but still <laughs> let's talk about Bella our main gal our main I hate calling her my gal. Bella kind of sucks. Bella is a fine protagonist. She does the right thing in order to move the story forward. And by right thing, I mean she does a ton of wrong things, but at least it makes a plot. <laughs> I don't know if there is anyone out there who truly loves Bella, and I'm sorry if you do, because I'm about to really... Ugh. She makes like the worst decisions, jumps to conclusions way too quickly, and is clearly boy obsessive, and in New Moon, she clearly needed help. So, let me just point out a couple of things that I didn't love about Belle. Creepy guy starts staring at her in school. Yeah, yeah, that's that's weird. This has nothing to do with Bella, but creepy guy starts staring at her in school, follows her. Literally stares at her while she sleeps. And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna ride home with this dude and we're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend now and he's not gonna want me to be, but I'm still going to just be obsessed with him. And then I find out he kind of wants to kill me because he's a vampire and that just makes him even more hot and he shimmers in the sun. And then, and then to protect her, sweet Edward leaves to protect her because he thinks that, you know, like he doesn't want to put her in danger because he's a vampire or whatever. And he leaves and she's just like, depressed for the next two months like like what message are you sending to children that you need a guy to like be happy because look that's the vibe i was getting i will say though that montage where she's like sitting in her room and like it's changing seasons new moon had a lot of really cool shots and then she realizes that when she gets a rush of adrenaline she sees edward again so she just decides to do all of these stupid things just so she can see Edward, but it's just a, like, I googled it. I thought this may have been, like, a way that Edward was communicating with her, but no, she is hallucinating. Girl needs help. Don't you dare talk bad about Twilight. This is this video, Kennedy. I'm, I'm talking bad about Twilight. I'm talking about how Bella clearly needed help. She just misses the love of her life. You can see me and my sister have very different views on this. <laughs> it's amazing to watch it all. Like I said, this is just my opinion. There's hers. She also watched it for the first time, so she has a completely different take on it. And then, oh, and then, she gets pregnant! And she's like, oh no, I'm pregnant! And then, the baby is literally killing her! She will die! This stinky girl 
will die if she keeps having this baby. And I know she's like, I love this baby. Uh, you know, if I die, so be it. Girl, we don't even know. Like, this baby is clearly, like, destroying you. We don't even know if, like, it's, like, gonna be good. <laughs> Like, for all we know, a little demon will crawl out of you like in the alien movie. Also, another thing, I just don't really get why she wants to be a vampire. Is that just me? I'm... I, look, if that seems crazy that I don't get that, I watched all the movies, I swear. I paid full attention. Which is something I don't usually do during movies, but I did in this case. Let's move on to Edward. I didn't like him in the first two movies because I thought he was a creepo. And then I was like, dude is like actually a decent human being. Like... Okay, I guess he's not human, but you get my point. So, in New Moon, I was Team Jacob. Until I realized that Jacob is very immature and clearly a child. And going through his own things. So I guess I'm Team Edward now, but I wouldn't say that because I just... I will say though, Edward's acting, and actually everyone's acting in the whole series was pretty good, actually. I thought it was quite fine and very good. They all did a fine job. <laughs> Except for the weird faces Bella made throughout the movie. You know, you know the TikTok memes. You, you know what I'm talking about. The only thing I would have liked to see from Edward that I, like, didn't throughout the whole films was really to see him cry. I don't know if he did at one point and I've just forgotten, but, like, I think he almost cries when he's, like, about to kill himself. Man, that makes this series seem so much more dark. You know, when he's about to, like, kill himself because he, like, wants to be with Bella and thinks Bella's dead. You know, the whole, like, um, Romeo and Juliet situation. They totally ripped that off from Romeo and Juliet. Like, I thought he was about to cry then, but, like, look, that was a really cool moment. But, like, I just wanted to see some emotion from him. Like, for example, that scene we got of Jacob, like, crying in the woods. Like, that was so real, and I love that. I don't know if it's just because I like seeing guys cry on screen, because, like, you don't see that that often. But, like, I've seen guys cry in real life. A couple times. Like, me and my family, when we were all watching Hamilton the first time, all of us just sobbing. <laughs> I just wish we could have seen more of that. Hi, editing Maddie here. I just realized since like their insides are all frozen, does that mean they can't cry? If so, then I take back everything I said, whatever. Jacob as a character, I really liked him in the beginning, but then he went all like emo and like wolfy and like teenagey and I was just kind of like, uh. Jacob is cuter than Edward. It's just an opinion of mine. I don't find Edward that attractive. I don't know if that's just me. Point is, I didn't really love any of the characters in the story. Um, they just weren't my... Sorry, I'm back. But I will say, Alice is queen. I love Alice. Jaden told me, she was like, you're gonna love Alice. And I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't really like any of the other characters. No, Alice is great. Alice is great. I love her power. The ending battle scene of the last movie was kind of disappointing that nobody ended up dying. I know that's sad that like, I kind of wish they did, but I thought it would bring up a lot of emotional drama. But still, that was a really cool epic moment where they were like, oh, it was all Alice, you know, doing the whole flashback thing. And then they were like, oh shoot, we lose. Review of the movies. First one, Really, really slow. The last 20 minutes were probably the best set of all the movies. I don't know why, but the last 20 minutes of the first movie I really enjoyed. And I was like, wow, they're really getting into the plot, and I loved it. So the last 20 minutes of the first movie, great. The first, like, 40 minutes? Nah. New Moon was interesting. It was then that I realized that, oh, this is what Twilight is. It wasn't just the first movie. Third movie? Did they get married in the third movie? I think they got married in the third movie. I think they got married in the third movie. I don't know. That one was fine. Again, just fine. I liked Booba Stewart. Booba Stewart is in it. For all you Descendants fans, I was like, oh, baby Boo Boo! So that was cool. <laughs> um, I don't actually remember his character's name because he wasn't in it that much, but I loved his character for that brief moment that he was. And then, like, the fourth movie got really, um, a little bit more, like, adult, I guess you could say. Did they cuss in the movies? If they did, I didn't notice. Fourth movie, you're like, oh! There's just a lot of, um, you know, they do the thing a lot. <laughs> anyway, so the first like half hour of that movie is just them doing the thing, which is just weird and uncomfortable and I just didn't like it. Yeah, that was weird. That movie was just the weirdest. Like the fourth movie was the worst out of all of them, I would say. I don't know why, I just, it was so weird. And then Bella's birth, oh my goodness, it was just so weird. And then the fifth movie, Bella became a vampire and I was like, why do I hate Bella even more? I didn't think this could like happen, but like I really just don't like her, like at all. 
Like, there's nothing appealing about her anymore. And the last movie was, like, it was fine. I mean, like I said, the last battle was really good. And when, like, the main dude, like, the dad, and we thought he, like, died, I was like, man, I didn't think they were gonna go there! Maybe it's just because after watching Infinity War, I'm just kind of, like, chill about, like, everyone dying because I think it'll bring up really good stories. But then they were like, oh, it was all a dream, is what that kind of felt like. It wasn't a dream, but that's what it felt like, so. Also, Bella's wedding ring. If you like it, that is fine. It's just my personal opinion. Also, Bella's baby's name. Originally, she was gonna name her baby if it was a boy, EJ, and I, for like, Edward Jake, and I was like, girl, girl, why? <laughs> and then she was gonna name, if it was a girl, which it was, Renesmee. Look, it's not the worst sounding name I've ever heard. I know people have a big pet peeve with it, but you know, the name is fine, it's just weird. I Also, CGI baby, what the heck? Like. It was creepy. I don't know if they CGI'd her through the whole movie, but like, but I will say that child has luscious locks. Have you seen that girl's hair? Also the whole like Jacob imprinting on the baby and that sounds weird. Imprinting is like love at first sight for werewolves. I don't know, like they use the whole like, it was a whole thing excuse a whole lot in the show. So he like falls in love with Renezme as a baby. So all of their interactions in like the last movie are just really weird. I don't know, it's just really weird. <laughs> Also, there are some things I liked about the show. I really like the coloring in the first movie. It was very moody and like it took a minute for like me to adjust to it, but I love it. I also love that that one girl was in it who's like in everything because she's really good in everything she acts in. Like, I don't know about her in like real life or anything. So if she's done something terrible, don't hold me to that. But like, she's really cool in movies and stuff and, and I like her. Also, they have like the best like title things in like any movie series I've ever seen. Like I can't think of one that I like like better. I like the designs for the werewolves and like I like the whole like lore of the world. It's kind of very like interesting and I like the whole like ver like the Cullens versus like the Cullens versus the werewolf people. I, I forgot what their last name is but anyway I liked that. I also like um that the girl the, the the blonde girl I forgot their names okay the blonde one I love her backstory because Bella's wanting to like become a vampire and her telling her her story is really good for Bella to hear it like really puts into perspective how much Bella really does want this so that was really cool to see and just a really good story that was really quick and just really nice that one vampire girl who's like working for the bad people for a while and I think the third movie I don't know. That actor, by the way, I don't know what she's been in since or what happened in her career, but really good. I, I I don't know why I feel the need to point this out, but I really liked her acting and she was really good. Oh my goodness. I was so disappointed <laughs> when they killed her. I like that they explained that like there's no like blood in the vampires like bodies. Um they're like frozen inside, which is like weird. I don't get that. Uh, but that also just brings up a lot more questions. But still, that was cool. Also Element Dude He's really cool. I actually like that actor a lot. Again, don't know what he does in real life, but he's really cool in all the movies I've seen, man. I like his character. Also, he can like bend the elements and I was just like, like the whole time. I, I was probably the only one who's ever thought this, but I was like, oh my goodness, he's the Avatar. That's not the nerdiest thing ever. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the special effects were good. So see, there's, there's not, it's not all bad. It's really fine. I will say there is one more thing I really want to talk about is... I don't know why. Like I said, I didn't personally love this series. I will probably never watch it again, but it is an experience I will never forget and I'm glad I did it. Though I will say, as soon as I was done with the series, I was like, why did they make a spinoff with Renezme? First off, she's half vampire, half human. She's got to deal with that her whole life. And also maybe it'll be like, humans don't like her, but also vampires don't like her because she's part human. Like, I feel like that would be a really fun concept. Also the fact that she would live forever. Like again, she had no consent to this. She was just born this way. That kind of sucks. Also, she like has to be locked away forever. She's not gonna have any friends. It's just gonna be her and her family. Like, I know that's fine and chill, but like, she's not gonna get to go to school. She's not gonna get to experience anything. Like, this is such a fun concept. Is this just me? Like, to play around with this idea that like, she wants to like go out and see like the real world, but then her parents are like, no, we made a deal. And then the people, you know, like the businessy people are like after her because like she's going out into the real world with like Jacob and everything and Jacob's like you know trying to keep her safe and everything like I feel like this could be a really good spin-off like I'd probably watch it 
I don't know why. I just, like, I feel like this was a really fun concept that they didn't get to explore nearly as much as they could have. Like, like, Renesme just seemed really chill about everything, and I kind of want to know her opinion on this stuff. Like, is she upset that she's half human, half vampire? Is this conflicting for her? Is she, you know, bummed that she's going to be stuck, like, in the same place for her life? Is she going to be bummed that she basically missed her whole childhood? And, like, also, does she, like, retain knowledge and, like, learn things that, like, a normal kid would? Because, like, she knows how to speak perfectly fine by she's like a certain age like does she just rapidly learn things too like i just have so many questions twilight was an experience it really was i will never watch it again i will never experience it again however it was an experience i will never forget and i'm glad that i got to spend it with my friend and my sister and i will tell you that it was the funniest thing when i was just like making fun of the logistics in this movie and meanwhile my sister over here is just like oh they're so cute that just shows the difference between us. So yeah, I watched Twilight. It was weird. You know, if you like Twilight, that is great. Do you? Twilight's not the worst thing. Again, like personally, my personal opinion, Twilight is not the worst franchise I've ever watched. However, it is the most conflicting. I just don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't personally love it because I don't love love stories. So there's just a lot against it for me. That was my experience with Twilight. Uh, if you guys have seen Twilight, let me know in the comments. If you haven't, I just spoiled the whole thing for you and you're probably not gonna wanna watch it because of how terrible I made it sound, but not that bad. And honestly, I feel like everyone should experience at one point in their life because it's that interesting. <laughs> also, if you like these whole like sit down talk videos, I might do more of these because this is just the content I'm kind of feeling right now. Sorry, I've been gone for two months. Things have been crazy hectic. I kind of like just took the summer off to do summer stuff which is weird because usually youtubers are like packing in all the things during the summer but you know like i've just been off doing things so anyway if you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe all that stuff i don't mean i i don't need to tell you that if you want to you will so there's that anyway thank you all so much for watching this video and yeah i will see what happens in the future you're all awesome you're all cool you're all amazing i just realized i unintentionally dabbed anyway bye guys